checking out some U2 spy plane tube food. 12 different menus, like this caffeinated chocolate pudding, and also including pepperoni pizza, key lime pie, beef and gravy, caffeinated apple pie, and we're gonna heat it up this time. Beef stroganoff, non-caffeinated chocolate pudding, beef stew, some peaches, chicken a la king, cinnamon apple sauce, hash browns with bacon. Okay, and for breakfast, we're gonna be starting the day off right. We're gonna boil these at a relatively low temperature for about eight minutes. Each one has a feeding straw. These pilots are at altitudes of over 70,000 feet, wearing an airtight pressure suit. And this thing enters in through a feeding port inside of their helmet. And you squeeze it, and that's how you eat. This pureed food that is not quite as pureed as baby food. It's still relatively coarse. Not bad. All right, let's get this out on your tray. Nice. Let's first check out the caffeinated apple pie. We had this one before, but didn't heat it up. It's just cool enough to be able to handle. There it is. Here. This will be a lot easier to squeeze out when hot. Look at that. You can see the cinnamon still has quite a bit of texture remaining. It's pureed, but unbelievable how the crust is integrated. Relatively tart apples and So much better. Hot. It has 100 milligrams of caffeine. There's no coffee or tea on these flights. No coffee, no tea. You can only go number one up in those planes. They have a small heater for these tubes. It's the only way this stuff's coming out of this tube is when it's heated up. Wow. Hmm. Tastes like butter. There's a reasonable amount of fat and shortening. Let's check out the peaches. Each tube is five ounces of food, and they contain between two and three hundred calories each. All right, this tube looks good. This one's from 2021. Some of these are 21, some are 2022. Beef with gravy, 2022. Hash browns, 2023, nice. They have a minimum three year shelf life if stored at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And if stored at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, six months. If they're refrigerated, they'll last a lot longer than that. All right, the peaches. Wow. Is that stuck? I think it is. Hmm. Let's see here. I think the tube is stuck. Oh, there we go. Peaches with relative form still to them. Unbelievable how normal that tastes. These are peaches that are cut just small enough to fit through a three-eighths of an inch tube or straw. Hmm. That one's probably empty. Aluminum tube. It's a food grade gold lining in the tube. 28,000 of these tubes are made per year and they're not cheaply made. I'm going to open this one up later. But we're going to open one of them at least. Not bad. Okay. Let's check out these peaches. Look how normal they look. Perfect 
tastes like canned peaches that have maintained a fantastic amount of actual texture. Hmm. Like it has great texture. It is not pureed. It's just chopped lightly. It manages to squeeze through that straw. Absolutely fantastic, high quality canned peaches. They're eating a tube of food between every one and two hours on their flight, on their 12 hour flights, up to 12 hours. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. Mm. Cinnamon, nutmeg, lemon juice, butter, and a almost unbelievable amount of crust that manages to not be like soggy or off-putting. Slightly bitter from the caffeine. Now for the beef and gravy. This is not a menu I've heard of, and the way it's labeled, very likely a prototype that is tested out and they'll see if they'll adopt it or not. Or it is one of the menus and it's just labeled differently. Oh yeah. Let's get this into a bowl. Malfunction. Oh jeez. Hmm, those minced pieces of beef fit well through the straw. Hmm, that is just beef with gravy. No potatoes, no vegetables. A savory, mild, which by the way, all these foods have to be mild. Cannot be spicy or just too intense a spice or flavor for pilots on high altitude long flight missions in these reconnaissance planes that are very difficult to fly and land. The food has to be nutritious, it has to be easy to eat, palatable, which this is absolutely fantastic. The minced beef fits through that straw efficiently. Hmm, a nice light onion and wow. There's a modified food starch thickener in the gravy that gives it a nice texture without being too rich. That was awesome. Now, hash browns with bacon is the top rated breakfast item. I want to put it on nice and tight there. There you go. Hash browns with bacon. Phenomenal. Smoky, savory, salty bacon, hash browns. There's real texture variation in there that I have no idea how they did it. It is absolute genius. Here, look at that stuff. Doesn't look like what it tastes like. It, it tastes so much more than how it looks. That doesn't look like much, you know? Those pieces of bacon, small, but very notable. This would be amazing after takeoff. It was the morning and you're in your U2 spy plane and you're up there and it's like you got this and maybe your apple pie to stir it off, right? Mm. For the caffeine, 100 milligrams in that apple pie. That was so delicious that I'm still hungry. I don't know how these pilots do it. I'd just be up there flying around and eating food all day. Probably not getting anything done either. Mm. They probably wouldn't mind. All these pilots love this food. Each menu is highly rated, but the highest rated is probably that chocolate pudding. And I'm looking forward to trying it out. So let's move it over to lunch. Okay, and we're back with lunch. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's get this out on your tray. Nice. Okay. Let's check out this applesauce. 
And we got these protective covers on some of them. I'll take that off. Just a plastic cover. Cinnamon's applesauce. That's maltodextrin enriched applesauce. They add extra carbohydrate, bolsters the caloric content. No hiss. Wow. Dark color. Hmm. Isn't that something? The applesauce, or is applesauce, in these tubes, much more flavorful than the USMRE version. A lot more cinnamon. I'm wondering why they put so much cinnamon in. It's inundated with cinnamon. It tastes like holiday applesauce. Hmm. There's so much cinnamon in this that you can actually feel it on your tongue. Like it's an almost bitter amount of cinnamon. Perhaps flavor is reduced up in higher altitudes and you have to add the extra cinnamon. Mmm. Whatever it is, it's very notable. Good too, it's letting these cool off. They're too hot to handle. Absolute greatest applesauce. Very rich in flavor. It is very smooth of puree. And seems less sweet than usual. Probably again because of that additional cinnamon. Not bad. Now let's check out the chocolate pudding. Here. Just on its own. Hmm. It's relatively thin. Oh wow. That is a very rich Dutch cocoa. Hmm. Seems like it's low fat, like a gelatin or something added to make it thicker. No wonder the chocolate pudding is the most liked item. They'll run out sometimes. There will be a chocolate pudding shortage and being heated up, so flavorful, goes through the straw so easily. Too bad that's finished up. Absolutely decadent. We're going for that caffeinated chocolate pudding. Will it taste any different? Let's follow up with this. Hmm, no difference in flavor. At least not yet, no like additional bitterness, which is surprising. Maybe there's extra sugar or cocoa added to this one or something to alleviate the bitterness of what 200 milligrams of caffeine will deliver. But so far so good. On a long flight, a pilot is gonna need this. Last one or two hours in. Hmm. Looks and tastes the exact same. It is something else. And it seems to be kicking in almost immediately. Wow just finish that one. Time for chicken a la king. We'll see how this goes to that straw. Probably has pasta. Let's see. Whoa, that tastes like fresh food. Not much to look at. It has pasta and chicken in it. This is spectacular. For what they managed here, look at the piece of pasta. A cream sauce, chicken broth, Hmm, savory, light, mild flavor, but it's still flavorful and truly delicious. Pieces of pasta, again, 
that are notable. And, hmm, it tastes like a thickened chicken soup almost. Substantial, nice pieces of white meat. It actually has real chew. I mean, real texture. You could eat this any time of the day. If this became normalized, I mean, there must be a market for it. Somebody would eat this. I talked to one U2 spy plane pilot who says this is his favorite. Chicken All King. I can see why. This is absolutely fantastic. He also warned me that if it gets clogged, you would have to take a, a, a chopstick and unclog it. So far, so good. Hmm. Pieces of pasta and chicken suspended in a modified food starch thickener enhanced light chicken broth gravy. Tastes like maybe carrot and celery, but not sure. It's just fresh tasting. And it doesn't taste bland. So whatever it is. And the sodium content is substantial without being so high it is going to potentially dehydrate a pilot. We'll see if we can get all 19 menus for the next one. We'll see. Maybe even the secret menu. The secret holiday menu. It's either a ham or a turkey and dressing. Who knows what it is this year. Could be turkey with cranberries. Amazing. Beef stroganoff. Nice. Let's try a bite out through the tube first. Now that is very savory and flavorful. It's one of the more seasoned menus. It has significantly more onion than the previous. A lot of them are just seasoned with onion because it is very mild and simple and easy for the digestive system to agree with and whatnot. This is even better. Look at that. A lot like the beef with gravy, but it has pasta as well. And the pieces of pasta are spherical, circular shaped, couscous almost like pasta with small minced pieces of beef that are lean and have a nice chew. Mm. The pieces of pasta just blend so well with that beef. Every squeeze of food is like a normal bite of food. Normal very palatable. It's mild, but flavorful, and interesting, and fun to eat, too. And these portion sizes that are not too large, if you're eating one tube per hour, and if each tube contains, like, let's just say 300 calories, and you had 12 tubes, that is 3,600 calories for the day. Like, these pilots are consuming between a minimum 1,200 calories, my guess, and up to 3,600 calories in a day, depending on how long their flight mission is and what, what they're eating, what their appetite is, and whatnot. And that was a really delicious lunch and energizing, too. Let's take it over to dinner. Okay, and for dinner, we're going to be having beef stew, pepperoni pizza, and key lime pie. All right, let's get this out on your tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off by... Checking out that beef stew. There we go. Mmm. Wow, is it nice to be able to actually try this. Last time we checked out that U2 tube food, this had a puncture and was swollen. This time, getting to finally try this out, and boy is it good. Mmm. Carrots, potato, and lean beef. It also seems like there's a fair fat content in the gravy. A relatively rich consistency. Look at that. 
there's a piece of the meat. Like that's how big the meat pieces are. That's like a delicious slow cooked pot roast. Potatoes and carrots with lean beef. But then again, some kind of beef fat that's reintegrated into the gravy. There's a fair amount of it. Probably the richest flavored tube food so far. The chicken a la king was quite light and it had great flavor, but it was pretty light. The beef stroganoff had more flavor, but it didn't seem as high fat and savory as this. This has more meat and less carbohydrate and more fat. It has higher fat, higher protein, and it's not very high in sodium. It's not too salty. It's just great flavor, not relying on too much sodium. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit better at understanding how to empty these out. I suppose it's similar to a tube of toothpaste, which you can imagine all the toothpaste that I've wasted in my life. This is just so amazing. Being able to eat the food that these pilots, which there are only a hundred of them, actively serving and flying around, and it's just fascinating. Pepperoni pizza. Hmm. How did they do it? Wow. There's a lot of pepperoni meat. It has a great chew. Look at this. Tubed pepperoni pizza. Looks to have a fairly high fat content. Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. Unbelievable. Let's get a little bit in here. That is like a sausage, minced sausage almost, but it is pepperoni. It has so much flavor. It's the most flavorful one. I'd probably want to have it near the end of the flight. It's a bit rich. That's the highest in fat, highest in spice, like a little bit of a black pepper. That is very high fat. Look at this. Look at the fat. Very surprising that they have this in the tube food. Most of these are very mild, but they give them this option. Pepperoni pizza in a tube. It might not be 100% a replication of, but it's good enough. Hmm. There might be some carbohydrate. I think there is. There's something in there that acts as like a kind of breading or something. A fantastic amount of meat that is suspended in a high fat tomato sauce throughout this tube. This is tr just to me truly phenomenal that they can make this kind of thing work. And equally surprising that there is no commercial product available like this. I don't know how like not feasible it probably is, you know to make, but who knows? I'd say if it were in a cheaper, like Tetra Pak or something, retort or something similar, aseptic preparation and everything that you need to keep a shelf stable, but you know, if you could do it with cheaper packaging material. It tastes like a gourmet pizza gumbo. It is as pepperoni pizza as you're gonna get in a tube without it being weird and unpalatable because what this is is like that might be yeah that's like some kind of possibly like carbohydrate like there's this little bit of what is almost like the crust mm-hmm that's a very minuscule amount of carbohydrate dough it's like a mixture of crust and cheese like you can't tell it's there, but it is there. I just get a lot of chew of meat, lots of meat. Issue is, this tube seems to be more difficult to squeeze. That was tomato. Pieces of tomato, large amounts of pepperoni, meat, and tomato sauce. 
and some kind of fat. It was like possibly olive oil and a fair amount of salt. Now, finally, the key lime pie. See what it's like. Hmm. Such authentic key lime pie flavor. I mean, it tastes 100% like key lime pie filling. Surprising there's no crust integration. They probably tried it and it doesn't work, but it does with the apple pie. This is just a true dessert. It's tart, slightly bitter, very sweet, very smooth. A perfectly balanced key lime pie filling. There's a fair amount of salt in this. Seems like a full cream. Wish I had more. I eat this all the time if I could get it. If I could buy this, it's almost empty. I'm gonna stand here using all my might to remove that last bite. Wow, that's it. I feel like I could keep eating. It's probably because this food was just so extraordinarily good in quality. And the portion sizes are small enough to where you can space it out and not get overly full. Eat one an hour. That makes sense. It is gold lined, like light gold lining, isn't it? Yeah, there is a light color. There's also some food still in there. There is a light yellow tone, gold tone, very light on the inside that is not on the outside, see? To protect against the aluminum, there's a very light amount of gold lining on the inside of these tubes. Fascinating, you know, paramagnetic. So this is shelf-stable food for a very specific purpose. U2 Reconnaissance Spy Plane Tube Food. Absolutely astounding. What they have managed to produce and to put in these tubes to make, like, not just palatable, but food I wish I could get, like, regularly, somehow. And I just, I don't see it happening unless I put my pizza in a blender. What an experience. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. All right, cool. See ya.